to get started, I am going to be using two and a half pounds of russet potatoes. You can use the potato of your choice, but I like a good old fashioned russet potato. Next, I'm just going to peel and leave them in large chunks. The bigger potatoes I cut in half just to make sure the potatoes cook evenly. You want them sort of the same size. Now I'm just going to place them in a pot of cold water. And technically the water is not freezing cold, it's just not boiling or hot water. You want to make sure you start with like a cool room temperature water uh, when you're boiling your potatoes. So now that they're in the pot, I'm going to bring them up to a boil. And then once that happens, I'm going to cover them, lower the heat just a tad. I'm going to boil them on medium heat until fork tender. I'd like to mention my grandmother, I love her potato salad and it's so inconsistent. Some of it's mushy, some of it's big chunks, small chunks, and I just love it. But she also would boil her potatoes with the skin on and I would ask her why she would do that. And she said, well, for one, no one had time to peel potatoes and you lose less of the potato if you just peel the skin after you boil it. But it is sort of inconvenient, so I like peeling my potatoes. <laughs> okay, so now my potatoes um, are fork tender, and again, I want to stress, use a fork, not a knife. And now that my fork goes in easily and comes off easily, I am ready to drain the water and allow the potatoes to cool a bit. In the meantime, I am going to work on the dressing for the potatoes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drain out the water like I mentioned earlier. And I also want to mention that I'm also boiling three large eggs to go into this potato salad. You can add less, you can add more, but three large eggs in this ratio of potatoes I think goes well. And any of these ingredients, you can take them out, add what you want, don't add what you want, it's your potato salad. Now onto the dressing. I'm going to be adding a half cup of chopped celery about two tablespoons of diced onion, pickles, and olives. I actually chopped up 10 olives for this. I'm also using two tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. If you haven't noticed yet, I love tons of things in my potato salad. <laughs> so again, you can use onion, don't use onion. I know some people are picky. Now onto the mayo. I'm starting with a half cup of mayo. Ultimately, I'm probably going to add about two more tablespoons to it, but a half cup is a good place to start and it is a packed half cup of mayo. I'm also going to be using a half teaspoon of yellow mustard. Again, if you don't like yellow mustard, don't add it. If you want to use another type of mustard, add it. Use what you have, use what you like. So I'm also going to be adding salt and pepper to taste. Sometimes I like to add Creole seasoning, but today I'm just going to keep it simple and just use salt and pepper. But again, add what you like. Now, if you notice, I am using green olives, but if you don't have green olives, black olives go well too. I just like the combination of textures, the crunch from the celery and onion, which I love onion, I, I love raw onion. So if you're not an onion person, or if you're taking this to like a barbecue, just keep it out. You don't have to add it, but I like it. I'm also going to be adding some dill pickle. And I, like I said, I just love the tangy, sweet, briny, crunchy, like the textures and the taste. I just love it in my potato salad. And I know some people think this is way too much going into this potato salad, but it, it, I really do. I love it. Now I'm just going to give everything a good mix. And then I'm going to set it aside in the fridge, let everything marry together and wait until the potatoes and eggs um, come to room temperature. Now you don't necessarily want to mix it into cold potatoes and egg, but you don't want it piping hot. So here is my dressing. Again, I'm going to set it aside. Okay, so my potatoes and eggs are at room temperature. I'm ready to start mixing. And here are my three large eggs. One of them almost didn't survive, but we did it. <laughs> so even if it kind of comes out wonky, it doesn't matter. You're going to chop it up anyways. So what I like to do is just chop everything in, the, in a bowl. It's not perfect. Some pieces are larger, some are smaller, some are mushy, some are not. I have a little secret to tell you. I did not cook the potatoes all the way um, to like that mushy level. Because of course you do want some chunks in there and it makes for a better thumbnail. But I truly love a mushy, softer potato salad. I don't know, maybe it's because the inconsistent way that my grandmother did it, she really didn't 
do things by recipe. It's just what she was doing in a hurry or trying to feed us. And the same thing with my mom. You know, when she makes the potato salad, things are kind of large, small, mushy, not mushy, and I love it. But, you know, again, just to be a little bit more consistent with this pot potato salad recipe, I wanted to, you know, m keep the shape of the, the chunks of potato. But again, that's our secret. I like mushy potato salad. <laughs> okay, so now that I've chopped everything up, I'm going to add the dressing and just give it a mix. And again, if you want it creamier, add more mayo. I just think for two and a half pounds of potatoes, a half cup of mayo is a good place to start and just sort of go up from there. Because, you know, you can always add mayo, but you can't take it out once it's added. So that's why you want to do that gradually. Now at this point, I can already tell that I'm going to need some more mayo, which is fine. Again, add as you go and adjust things to your taste. But yeah, I want mine a tad bit creamier, so I'm probably going to add an extra tablespoon or so of mayo. So once this all gets mixed up, you can store it in the fridge overnight if you're taking it somewhere, or you can serve it. I would let things set for at least 30 minutes to an hour just to let the mayo and the dressing kind of marry together with the potato. I am going to be serving my potato salad alongside my barbecue grilled chicken legs. If you want that recipe, look in the description below or wait till the end of this video and click on the video link icon. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.